So yeah, we wrote a duo piece, um, and I thought we could share it with you guys. Um, we don't have a title, but we want to say domestic violence is real. Hope you guys enjoy. I love you. I said, I love you. Did you hear me? I said, I love you. I've been trying to convince myself that I am more than just unconscious body laying on the spine of your ego. That the bruises on my skin are just love notes that you struggle to write neatly. I've been trying to tell myself that you do love me. That choking is just your way of trying to breathe in my air. That love is always worth fighting for. But last night, last night you hit me harder than you usually do. I can still taste the blood in my mouth. Can still see stars and angels whirling in my head. They are witnesses to my account. I swear you are a monster. Me, a monster. The only guy that's ever held you so close. I could feel your fractured heartbeat. See, I know you don't deserve me. Are you forgetting all the times I sent butterfly footprints up your spine? I always wipe your tears when you cry, take you to clean up the blood and smile. And loosen my grip when you say, I can't breathe. I'm infatuated by your inhale. The rise of your chest, the curve in your spine, the boost to my ego, the bulge of the veins in your eyes. Don't you see? You need me to live. I give you life. I am me without you, and you are nothing without me. Why do I still love you? On our wedding day, when we said till death do us part, I didn't know it would be by your hand. Hey. I know this is not really you. You are delicate and wonderful and compassionate, and life has really wrenched all the love out of you, hasn't it? Turn your heart into walls and love proof, hasn't it? This, this is not the man I fell in love with. Your smile used to swell me into feeling like a little girl. Again, you were my protector. Now the closest that your hands feel to shelter is when it's around my waist as you hug your way into another apology again. I know this is not really you. That anger has the will to your mind and drives in from time to time, always whizzing its way into your hand, so I promise. I'll try not to provoke you next time. Round of applause. Take a bow, hats off to you. You're finally- This is not really you. Understanding. It's really on you pushing me way too far and I don't plan to jump so I'm throwing punches, connecting with caress, flesh. But I don't mean it. Let me say sorry. Let me give you a bear hug. Call me Teddy. Remember when you was young? Find peace in my coarse arms while you reflect on how you made me do this. I can fix you. Okay, I can fix us. I won't leave. Just, just try not to hit me too hard next time. There you go again trying to change me, telling me what to do. What the? Am I not good enough? Have you forgotten all the times I embedded my palms to your scalp, indulged my fingers to your roots, engraved my grip to your head, and I know See, I know you see white noise in galaxies when your skull collides with the bleak crimson water. I was using your screams and my shouts to conduct a symphony. Your skin, my sweat to paint an Egyptian mosaic masterpiece, my queen title. I love you and I'm sorry. That wasn't blood you tasted. Don't you ever say that was blood. I was helping you. To taste a clear mind, do you understand? Please don't leave. I love you, do you understand? I understand. I love you too. For those of you who ask me questions, like why the skin under my eye is a shade too blue, I've rewritten the history of the scars on my body into a prettier kind of violence for you. An attempt to cut the conversation short. Blame everything on the stairs. Every night should be spent laying on my bronze chest. Blame everything on my clumsy feet. Wandering thighs and she could find herself in open arms, not mine. That can't 
happen. How I dance too often near sharp objects, near harmful things. Lock doors, close the blinds till death do us part. That's the closest to the truth that I can tell you. 